Yo, what is up? Today I'm going to show you a new emulator that just came out today. It's called Delta. It's kind of like a known, reputable one. It kind of has like all the apps that I've been recently talking about all in one. So it offers like Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, SNES, and DS, as well as Nintendo 64. Uh, so highly recommend it. Now, really quick, if we go to the App Store, you'll see that uh, if we type in Delta we will not get it to populate but if you go with this link here it'll bring you directly to the market and it works that way why it's like that i'm not exactly sure um but yeah i would download it while you can just in case they do remove it kind of like igba just got removed for you know its reasons um but open it up now really quick let's go to the settings what the hell settings you can see all the emulators that it offers. There's also like controller skins and whatnot. Like that's what it looks like. If you want to import your own or find some off the web, you can. But just to show you how to add games, we'll go to files. Uh, browse. My drive. Not my drive. Hmm. What is use that one? Open it, and then it will be imported, just like that. Now, let's say you wanted to add DS. It is going to require firmware, and I will drop a link for that as well. Let me go to, like, shit. Files, browse, on my phone. We'll open it up, we'll slide over. It's gonna tell you that it's missing the required BIOS and firmware. I will show you how to install them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to drop a link on this, but it's like a quick Google search. Um, but once you have the files, it'll automatically pull it up. Like make sure you make it into a folder. So we'll just plug it in one by one, BIOS nine, firmware, and that's really it. Once you've done that, then you'll have access to DS. I'm actually not going to get into it, like, that's just what it looks like. Uh, next, let's do... I think... Nintendo. Nintendo does not require any firmware, nor does Game Boy. It's just the DS. Um, but really quick, let me show you... And then also you could drop it down. It kind of has a better layout than the previous emulators that we've had. Or you could leave it standing. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. There you guys go. Um, if I forgot anything, if you need help with anything, uh, send me a message on Discord. Uh, I'll try to figure out the firmware thing, see if it's okay. If it's not okay, I won't post it. But if it is, I will drop a link to the App Store, how to get the application, and possibly firmware. Um, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.